Hello, everybody. It's a delight to see you today and be here with you. I want to talk to you about the call of God that's on every one of our lives. Our word today and the 10 words that can change your life is the word calling. The text is in 2 Timothy chapter 1, and I want to read verse 9. The last word in verse 8 is the word God. And then the first word in 9 is who. So let's substitute God has saved us, verse 9 says, and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace. Mark those two words, purpose and grace which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began. Wow. Your call is an eternal call. Your call was in existence before you came along to incarnate it. The call of God upon your life is purposeful. I want to put that on the board. It's purposeful. This is a great word, purposeful. Did I spell that right, purposeful, or is there an E in there? Purposeful, let me, yes, purposeful. Romans 8, 28 is the text that I want to come to to explore this great truth with us. The Bible says in Romans 8, 28, all things work together for good to them that love the Lord, to those who are the called according to his purpose. That's the King James Version. Now, I want to quote it like uh, I know it from the original Greek. God causes everything to work together for good to those who love him and are called according to purpose. And I want to take this verse apart. I've done this many, many times. I believe, really, I remember many years ago in California when I first really encountered this verse and, um, and, and understood it from its original language. It transformed my life. It really did. I preached it for weeks, and it just transformed my life. The King James says, and let's go to it because that's what everyone quotes, all things work together. Well, that's not true. All things don't work together. Things will kill you. If there's not an overarching purpose, pattern, plan to things, they will be chaos. They will crush you. It takes a word from God to turn chaos into cosmos, disorder into order. If you look at the New Living Translation, it catches the Greek. It says, God causes everything to work together for good to those who love him and are called according to purpose. God causes everything. The NIV says, in all things, God works. See, things don't work, but God does. He works in everything. Good things, bad things, big things, little things. Ugly things, beautiful things, listen, right things, wrong things, everything. Let me, let me give you that, that word. The, 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 the word of God, the call of God is purposeful, purposeful. And, and Romans 8, 28 says that, Panta, P-A-N-T-A. -A. What, what a word that is. You see, now there are two, two Greek words for all. One of them is this word, panta. But there's another word that is this word, H-O-L-E. 
Hole. 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 There's an H O L H O L E. Hole. Hole. Now that word, hole, means the total of everything. The total of things. The whole. Our word whole comes from that, of course. The whole thing. God designs the whole thing, it executes the whole thing for our ultimate good. But that's not the word used in this passage. That's not the word. That's not what it's saying. He says, panta. God causes panta. P-A-N or P-A-S is the, is the nominative. But, but pan means each and everything. Each and every. See, there's a difference in the whole thing, the whole of life, ultimately working out for good. The Bible doesn't say that. Now, that's true, but it doesn't say that in this passage. What it says is that each and everything that touches your life, God will cause to work together for your ultimate good, which is his purpose for you. Each and every. That's pan. And ta is, is the plural of things. Each and every thing. All those things, each one of them, that come to your life. Good things, bad things. Rich things, poor things. Right things, wrong things. God will ultimately cause to work together for our ultimate good. You see, the call of God on your life is purposeful. Everything is according to purpose with God in our lives. That, that's a great revelation. That is a, a powerful, powerful truth that speaks volumes into our lives. Now, but it, it, it says work together. All things work together. Well, uh, let's go back to the board, and I want, I want to put another word on here, and that's S-U-N-E-R-G-E-I, Sunerge. Now, anybody looking and thinking about this, if you're looking and thinking about this, you can, you can see that you have got this word here, soon, which, which really means with, with, like symphony, and erge, which means to work. But it's singular, see? It's singular. So it doesn't say things work, see? It says God works in everything for our ultimate good. So he causes them all to, what is this word, sunerge in Greek? It's our word, S-Y-N-E-R-G-I-Z-E. God causes it all to synergize for our ultimate good. Wow, that is powerful. Now, things that are unpleasant, things that are even hurtful and harmful, can, they do weave themselves into the fabric of our lives. But God is saying in this great passage that he's the weaver and that he will ultimately cause them all to bring forth the picture, the painting, the carpet, the, the fabric that he wants ultimately in our lives. Every one of these ingredients, the good things, the bad, the right, the wrong, the ugly, the beautiful, God will use to bring about our ultimate good, which is his purpose for us. And that, that's the next word, good. Good. There are three, three words for good in, in the Greek language. Three words uh, for good. Uh, one of them is the word kalos, K-A-L-O-S, kalos. Now that's good from the outside in, which means pretty, <laughs> Pretty or euphemistic, uh, uh, um, aesthetic, 
aesthetic, good, pretty. Uh, God, that, that's, that's not the word in this verse. There's another, another word uh, that's the word Christos, C-H-R-E-S-T-O-S. And, and that means pleasant, pleasant. Well, not all things are pleasant. So that's not the word. The word here is agathos, A-G-A-T-H-O-S, agathos. And it means good from God's perspective. Good from God's perspective. Not good uh, from an outsider's perspective. Not even good, pleasant between two people, but good from God's perspective. God will cause everything that touches your life to bring his purpose to fulfillment inside you if you will put your trust and your confidence in him. Um, this, is, this, is, this is an incredible thing. The call of God is purposeful. This has been brought to you by Ron Cottle Ministries. For more information, please call us at 706-256-0100, extension 217, or visit our website, roncottleministries.com.